This video will quickly get you started with the Auto Attendant tool. To find the Auto Attendant tool, log into Weblink, go to the Settings tab, and under Menus, choose Auto Attendant. This is what our Auto Attendant tool looks like in a brand new Freedom Voice system. There are four sections, Menus, Recordings, Business Hours, and Holidays and Exceptions. Menus are like our Auto Attendants. Under Recordings, Business Hours, and Holidays and Exceptions, we can create pools of resources that can be applied to the menus. To get started, we need to create a new menu. Click Add New. We'll call this our Auto Attendant. And if we had an existing menu, we could copy that exact configuration. Since we're starting from scratch, we'll say we'll create a new menu. Now we can see we're inside our menu, Auto Attendant, and currently it says there's no business hours added, meaning this menu is just going to play 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can see it uses our default system recording. It has the standard keypad options that come with a Freedom Voice system, and inactivity options are below. Currently we don't have any holidays and exceptions or business hours defined to add to this menu. So what we'll do is go back to the auto attendant list. And one other thing we need to do is we need to make this menu active. Currently it says inactive because it does not have a phone number pointed to it. To point a phone number to this menu to make it active, we need to go up to settings and under delivery, number routing. Once in number routing, we can create a route based on the number the caller is dialing. We click Add Route. We'll choose the phone number we want to associate with this auto attendant. Put a label on it. And for route type, we want to choose Send Call To. Once we've chosen Send Call To, we can choose from any auto attendants that are under the menus heading. Currently we just have one, so we'll go ahead and choose our auto attendant. We'll save it, and now we can see we have a custom route to our auto attendant. Now if we go back to our auto attendant tool, we can see that our auto attendant that we just created is now active, and we can call this number and listen to the default greeting. The next thing we'll want to do is set up recordings and some business hours if that applies to our schedule. To set up a recording, click Add New, name the recording, and we can either have the system call us to make the recording or load it from an audio file. For this tutorial, we'll load it from an audio file. And now we have a standard auto attendant greeting. Let's upload another recording. We'll call this one after hours auto attendant. And I'm just going to populate all my recordings right now. Okay, so I've created four greetings here, four recordings, that I can then use as a pool of resources to apply to any one of the menus that I've created. Let's define some business hours next. We'll call it standard daytime hours. We'll say this is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time which we need to do this in military time, so that's 1300 for 5, and we'll say this is for Monday through Friday. Next, let's define some weekend hours. And we'll say we are 10 a.m. to 
noon on Saturday and Sunday. And now we will do some holiday hours. So I'll jump all the way to December 25th and we'll just leave that 24-7 on that particular day and save that. I need to set my end time here as well. My, end, my start date and my end date. Now that I have resources created, recordings, business hours, and holidays and exceptions, I can go back to my auto attendant and click edit. And now I can apply some business hours. Let's choose our standard daytime hours. So now instead of this menu being 24-7, Our, auto, our daytime hours automatically apply. And we use our standard uh, system greeting currently for this. But let's just go ahead and choose our standard auto attendant that we've created. Now, after hours is automatically created outside of the hours that we've defined. So after 5 p.m. and all the way up to 9 a.m. of the next day, we have our after hours. And we can create a different after hours settings independently from our daytime hours. So you can see here if we click on daytime hours we've defined our standard auto attendant greeting, we have our keypad options and our inactivity options. Now if we choose our after hours, and that's highlighted in green, currently it's mirroring our daytime hours. But if we wanted to change this, use a custom recording for after hours for example, turn it on, and we'll choose our after hours auto attendant. We can even customize our after hours keypad options. So if we want zero just to go to voicemail instead of call forwarding after hours, we can do that. And again, if we look and compare this with our daytime hours, you'll see it goes to call forwarding for extension 80 during daytime, or for option zero, I should say. And after hours, our option zero goes directly to voicemail. And the same for caller inactivity options. If we want this to be the same as the auto attendant, we'll leave it off. If we want to customize this, we can turn it on and change the way that it functions. Let's do one last thing here. Well, let's add that Christmas Day in here. So Christmas Day happens to land on a Friday of this year, which lands during our standard daytime hours. So let's make it so on Christmas Day, we actually get a custom greeting. So now you can see Christmas is highlighted. If we turn on that custom recording, we can choose our Christmas Day recording. And now on Christmas Day, callers will hear a message specific to that day only. Let's go back to our auto attendant list. From here, let's add a secondary auto attendant. And I'm just going to create it from scratch. I'm not going to copy the existing one. And let's go ahead and uh, let's do some standard hours for this one. Let's add a custom recording, secondary auto attendant. And we'll leave the after hours the exact same just for this particular instance. Now you can see we have two auto attendants, a secondary auto attendant or a main auto attendant and a secondary auto attendant. Now if we wanted to make our secondary auto attendant active, it's the same as we did before. We go to settings, number routing, add another route for another phone number, send call to, second auto attendant, save that. Now if we go back to auto attendant, we will see that it is now active and this phone number will reach the secondary auto attendant and it will play the second auto attendant greeting because we have applied that within the settings of the second auto attendant. That concludes the training for the auto attendant tool. Thank you for watching.